Namaste, Sagittarius. This is your November angel reading. And we're not shuffling. There we go. All right, if you can close your eyes, take a deep inhale. Exhale. Breathing in the breath of God, the breath from the universe. Dropping into your heart chakra. Calling forward to your center master, spirit guides, and angels for any messages, healings, clearings on your behalf. Evoking Archangel Raphael for healing from the east. Healing your body, mind, and soul. Archangel Michael to the south for shielding and clearing. Archangel Gabriel to the west for channeling and communication. Archangel Uriel to the north bringing you light, forgiveness, and compassion. Archangel Sandalfin from below, grounding you to Mother Gaia. And Archangel Metatron, bringing the sacred geometry, the Christ Buddha consciousness, the God consciousness within you. Taking a deep inhale. Exhale, declaring this our sacred space. And welcome back. All right, what does Sagittarius need to know? Angels for November. One more, please. Thank you, angels. Your angels want you to know that you are being divinely protected. So I feel that there was a situation that was um, you were very unclear about. Um, sometimes you, suck, you have a tendency to second-guess yourself, and your angels are letting you know that it's important for you to especially call in on Archangel Michael. Your angels are asking you to release the situation. It is no longer serving your higher self. Um, I feel that it's something that is weighing very heavy on your mind. It has you sometimes, you get derailed. It's something from your past that you keep going backwards, and your angels are letting you know it's time to surrender it, let it go. Your angels are asking you to go back to the innocence of your inner child, to look up. So I feel like you're receiving messages, guidance, butterflies, birds from your angels, so your angels are letting you know that you are being supported. You just need to really ask for help. Whoa, that one came flying out. Thank you, angels. So your angels are letting you know that you have a great deal of possibilities. Um, I'm getting a few different messages for you, Sagittarius. So please take how this resonates. You are on your spiritual journey, and there is one door. So one, do not allow yourself to be derailed. The second message I'm getting um, regarding work opportunities, you do have a lot of job offers. There are um, certain things needed to happen to unfold to get you where to where you're going um, in your future. So don't don't get upset. You're exactly where you're supposed to be is what your angels are saying. So your throat chakra is a little blocked as it's coming in. Um, the card's coming in upside down. So you're being asked to go back to your divine truth and to be in your divine truth. Really call forth on your angels to help you clear your throat chakra. Um, call in on Archangel Gabriel, who is the angel for communication and channeling. Your door to value. So I feel that you there's something that you're not valuing yourself. You don't see how truly gifted you are because this card is coming in upside down. So you may have a tendency, you're a very powerful manifester, but in the past you've been manifesting everything that you don't want because your vibration could be a little lower. There is a situation that you are not having victory on. I feel that you are a little disappointed. Um, I'm hearing... When God closes a door, he always opens a window. So just because something didn't work out for you in October, um, there is another door coming, opening itself up for you in November is what I'm hearing. And here we go, the sun. So the sun is the best card in this deck. Um, the sun signifies your happiness, your wish fulfillment. It's like, this is like Christmas, Easter, your birthday all rolled onto one. So understanding that you are the sun and happiness is coming, like new beginnings are coming for you. One more card, please, angels. What does Sagittarius need to know for November? Thank you, angels. 
So for some of you, you just currently went through a difficult, stormy time in October. I feel that um, somebody rocked your boat. Like things did not pan out the way you expected them. And your angels are just letting you know that this needed, again, this needed to unhappen. It had it to unfold for you to get to where you're going. And attachments are coming at the bottom of the deck. So I feel that um, illusions... Veils are going to, since the veil is very lifted, since the veil is very thin today, illusions are being lifted. So you will be getting clarity on a situation for November. Um, just be very mindful that this all needed to unfold for this to be part of your spiritual growth, your journey. Oh, we received three cards here. Thank you, angels. So prosperity lies ahead. So just keep manifesting from abundance, manifesting from gratitude. Again, your angels are asking you to surrender to the divine. And adjustments are required. So think of using the energy from the full moon. Think of where you can make a change in your life, where something has not worked out or something is not really serving your higher self. All right, what does Sagittarius need to surrender? Angels for November. And my crown chakra is really tingling, so I feel that you're going through... An awakening journey and you received four so your angels are asking you surrender to trust so if this situation didn't work out the way you wanted to you tried it your way now trust in the divine so just surrender to trust you are also receiving surrender your attachment to the results so I feel that some of you you're always asking like how when where um, you're really attached to the outcome and your angels and the divine is asking you, you don't need to know. You don't. When you're holding on too tightly to an expectation or an outcome, you end up slowing it down. Um, your angels are saying to surrender to your ego. So ego just stands for edging God out. So you're holding on to something um, that is not in alignment with your truth right now. And this goes right in hand with surrender the need to always have to be right it's sometimes better just to be kind. So if you feel your ego just coming up, really ask your angels to help you not come from a place of ego, then come from a place of love and light. Um, you're going to get a lot more from honey than you are vinegar, is what I'm hearing. So I hope this message resonated with you, Sagittarius. If you liked it, please like, share, and subscribe to my page. And I'm sending much love and light. Namaste. Bye.